add, subtract inequalities with fractions and mixed numbers. So let's see if we can tell whether these things are greater than, equal to, or less than. Okay, so let's see. We've got 8 and 2 thirds minus 4 and a half. So let's go ahead and combine them, right? So we'll have 24 plus 2 is 26 thirds. And this will be 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. And this will be 18 plus 5 is 23 over 6. And we want to combine these things, so we have to find a common denominator here. So we'll multiply this thing by 2, so we'll get 52 over 6. We'll multiply the 9 by 3, we'll get 27 over 6. And 52 minus 25 minus 27 is 25 over 6. So is 25 over 6 greater than, equal to, or less than 23 over 6? I think we know that it's greater than, right? Because 25 is greater than 23, and the 6s are the same. So greater than. Okay, how about this? So this will be 8 times 2 plus 1 is 17 halves. This will be 16 sixths. And this will be 33 sixths. So what we'll end up here with is 51 sixths minus 16 sixths, right? I multiply the top and bottom here by three to get 51 sixths. And 51 sixths minus 16 sixths is 35 sixths. And 35 is greater than 33. So we're gonna go with greater. Okay, how about this? So 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26 over 4. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so minus 5 over 2. And this will be 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17, so that's 17 over 4. This thing will be 26 fourths minus 10 fourths, right, Time, this is times 2 times 2, that'll be 16 fourths. And so we know 16 fourths is less than 17 fourths. Okay, how about this? So we've got 28 plus 2, which is 30 fourths. We've got 9 plus 2, which is 11 thirds. And we've got 36 plus 11, which is 47 twelfths. So our common denominator is 12. So we'll multiply the 30 fourths by 3 on the top and the bottom. We'll get 90 twelfths. We'll multiply the 11 thirds by 4 on the top and the bottom, and we'll get 44 twelfths. And when we put that together, we'll get 46 twelfths. Wow, they're making these really close. So you end up with 46 twelfths, which is less than 47 twelfths. Okay, how about this? So we've got 37, 9 times 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37 fourths. Minus 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, so minus 14 thirds. And then this is 48 plus 7, 
is 55 twelfths and so we have to put everything over 12 so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom here by 3 so that's going to give us 111 over 12 we multiply the top and the bottom by 4 which is going to give us 56 over 12 when we subtract them we will get exactly 55 over 12. That's satisfying. So these are exactly the same. Okay. How about this? So we've got 6 plus 4 is 10 sixths. Over here we've got 11 halves. And here we have minus 18 plus 3 is 21, so 21 sixths. So we only need to change this to something over 6. So we're going to change that to times 3 times 3, so 33 over 6 minus 21 over 6 gives us 12 over 6. And we could simplify it, but it's actually easier to just leave it over 6, right? because that helps us compare the fractions. So 10 over 6 is less than 12 over 6. So less than. OK, how about this? So we've got 12 tenths. We've got 11 halves, we've got 22 fifths, sorry, that's a 10. So we'll put, we'll put these over 10, so that'll be times 5 times 5, so 55 over 10, this will be times 2 times 2, minus 44 over 10 will give us 11 over 10. And we know that 12 tenths is greater than 11 tenths, so the answer should be greater than. Okay, so this is 67 tenths. This is 19 halves. This is 10 plus 3 is 13 fifths. So when we put them over, so this one's going to be times 5 times 5. So that'll be 95 over 10. And this will be times 2 times 2, so it'll be minus 26 over 10. So 95 minus 26 is 69 over 10. So we'll end up with 67 over 10 is less than 69 over 10. Okay, how about this? So 7 and 2 tenths is 72 tenths. 7 and a half is 14 plus 1 is 15 halves. This will be just two fifths. There's no work to do there. We'll put everything over 10. So we'll get times five times five. So we'll end up with 75 over 10 minus times five times five, sorry, times two times two for this, right? So that'll be minus four over 10. which will give us 71 over 10. So 72 over 10 is greater than 
71 over 10. Yeah, I'm just checking something. Because that's 1 fifth, and then that's 0.5 minus 2 fifths. Yeah, okay. So we have greater than. And the last one. So we have 28 times 5 plus 11. So that's 140 plus 11, which is 151 over 28. This is going to be 37 over 4. This is going to be 27 over 7. 37 over 4, 27 over 7. So let's put these over common denominators. So times 7 times 7. So that's going to be 259 over 28. This is going to be times 4 times 4, so that's going to be 108 over 28. And when we subtract them, we'll get 151 over 28. That's a nice one to end on, isn't it? Where it actually matches up perfectly. Okay, so they're equal. And on that note, I hope you have fun just going through a couple of those reps on your own. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you next time.